Hello everyone, welcome to E Times. I'm Rachit Gupta, and joining us for a conversation today are two cool dudes, two action heroes, uh, Vidyut Jamwal, Farooq Kabir. They've made Khuda Hafiz Part Two. It's doing really well in the theater. So let's just jump into that conversation. Hi Farooq, hi Vidyut. Welcome. How are you guys doing? Hi Rachit, what's up? All good, all good. Uh, guys, let's just jump into that first question. Film is doing decently well. I was keeping a tab on your box office numbers as well. Despite the heavy rain, despite the unfavorable trends, you guys are still maintaining a decent number. How does it feel? What sort of reactions have you got? If Aruk to khush hai No, it's a good feeling. Yeah, like I was uh, chatting with somebody today, and I was telling them that. In the last 10 years, I've never had this uh, phrase come to me, which is word of mouth. This is a Kamal word of mouth. Hua hai. And uh, it's happened to us. And I think we're very happy about it. Right, right. Far, what do you think is the is is the core reason behind this good word of mouth? It's, it's really working for you guys. I think it's the it's braver choices of content. Uh, it's it's trying to tell the story in a in a brave, non pretentious way, hmm. uh, keeping things within a plausible reality, as in with this character as a common man. So all of a sudden, when when the action or the angst of this character unleashes in the film, it's not like he does something even in terms of the action which is out of his universe. It's a it's a plausible reality. I, I think people like like seeing that and and kind of relate to it and connect with it that it's it's a reality they can relate to it's it's plausible for them that in this story this is how these characters would behave this is what would happen so to speak hmm. so i think hmm. that apart from the fact that the action of course with this action is uh, always praised in in this it's being praised for being uh, slightly clutter breaking in terms of the action as in no VFX and none of that stuff, just very mm. hot, raw, brutal action. And then again, his performance also, I think every single reviewer, every review that I've read or every audience feedback or reaction that I've seen, you know, people walking out of the theaters and these guys keep taking these those interviews. Reactions. Yeah. Those audience reactions, everybody's unanimously <clears throat> talking about his performance. So, I feel I feel good about those factors and and the emotions are also connecting. I feel everybody's saying it's quite emotional for them. Mm. So, mm. yeah. so I'll I'll come to the I'll come to Vidwit's performance, but there's a question that's you know that's that's really sort of intriguing me. Uh, the build-up to your film, you know, we had three big action film films that released which did not perform well. And yet you guys have proven that, you know, with, with probably the right, you know, the right emotion, the right drama, you can you can make it work. So A, did that, was that playing on your mind? And the fact that you guys have done well, does that sort of prove that, you know, the action genre is still here to stay? Uh, yeah, I mean, see, you know, every second person, I think, discouraged uh, mm. Vidyut uh, and even me, okay, don't release it in the theaters. This is not the right time. Go back to the OTT only. We are still not back to normal pre-pandemic uh, times entirely. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, the, your, your film is... Like y'all are not such a big budgeted film that y'all will have such large scale marketing budgets that you'd be able to uh, penetrate the narrative. Uh, but yeah, we just felt like we always made it for the theaters and we took a punt on ourselves, <coughs> took a punt on Vidyut and and said, let's do it and put it out there and rest rab rakha. As in. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Vidyut, how good does it feel that, you know, people are not just talking about action in a Vidhu Jamwal film, but also the emotion, also the performances. Is that, is that like gratifying? Is that a new sort of gratification? You know, it had to happen. Uh, for somebody like me, who's not from the industry, I have to go through a certain process. Like if I'm in the commando, they will just see me as the commando. Till somebody like him comes and says, okay, you know, I, I can see more of what Vidyut can do. For me, it's a great feeling to just be in a point where I can see people see a lot of different things in me. So gratifying or not, gratifying for sure, but I'm happy with the way things are happening, man. It's good. Right, right. Farooq, this, I mean, your, your story also focused on so many social issues. You know, there was, there was, there was child abuse. There's, there's, you know, victimization. How much do you think that sort of connected with the audience, that relevance, that the, the social aspect of the story? So I had a screening yesterday and mm -hmm. the first half, 
the moment the intermission happened, this friend of mine comes to me and she tells me, Vidyut, I hope you chop this boy's balls off. Oh, God. This is the first thing she tells me. And I'm like, uh, you'll have to wait and watch. Like I, When we were writing about it, a punishment like this, to me, justifies. Uh, but wait and watch. And I promise you, this is the kind of reaction I'm getting. This is what people come to me and they're so angry because they read it in the papers. They hear about it every second day. And we don't have a solution for it. We only go on news channels and just say, what will we do? What shall be done? But yeah, so like th- these are the kind of reactions I get. Perfectly well done. Yeah, right. and a lot of lot of people, I mean, you remember that guy who stepped out in the interval? He, he was almost choked with yeah. tears. Uh, so a lot of emotional reactions are mm. coming on the film, I think, which according to me, it's hitting the right chord. It was not like it was intended to be written like that. And so that you get that reaction. That's just how naturally I felt like writing the story. And then we felt like making it in that natural space without trying too hard to appease an audience or, or try too hard to bring out an emotion which doesn't exist you know it's just it's been done in an honest way and so i think that honesty does connect with people that they are seeing that oh this is an unpretentious film it's not playing <laughs> to the galleries it's not hamming away at at performances it's 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 staying natural and true to what it is cool cool with it you know I, I mean, I, when I was speaking to Farooq the other time, we had that conversation and I told him also that, you know, I truly believe Vidyut is, is a generational talent and, you know, stuff that he can do in terms of physicality, in terms of action, very, very few people can do that. So I, and when you sort of look at, you know, even Hollywood heroes or heroes from say, you know, even China, like a Jackie Chan or a Bruce Lee, they had a, they had a really long career that was only focused on action. And, you know, now that you, you've done it, do you feel going ahead, you would want to sort of branch out to drama as well, far more than you've done it right now? Or would you want to stick to your strengths and just continue doing different shades of action, probably? To start with, thank you for the compliment. Really, I was enjoying it, man. <laughs> Coming from somebody like you, and thank you. Really, really, thank you. Uh, action, there's so much to be done. Like, for me, like I haven't even started with the action bit. I've started thinking and understanding much better than before. Action will be surpassed for sure for the next 20, 30 years, I have a feeling. And yes, uh, enjoying the emotional, dramatic part of cinema. And I promise you, if I'm doing action like that, the emotion and drama will be equally very high and good. Hmm. I have high standards for myself. <laughs> I hope everybody does for themselves. Of course, of course. But with the, when, you, when, you, when an actor sort of tends to switch, there's always a creative risk. Because the people are, you know, people are, are, are sort of accustomed to seeing you in a certain way. So if you like make a full switch to drama, do you feel that will be a huge creative risk on your part? First of all, I don't predict my future because it, every time I think of it in a certain way, it's never like that. And the way I've been living my life, I'd never plan anything. The only thing when I'd come into Bombay and I was looking for work, work I was very sure that I wanted to do action and i wanted to do in a certain way that nobody has ever seen before that was the only plan until now the only plan is i'm going to do something that i've never tried before so i don't know what the future is i don't know what people think i'm going to do the best of what i can that's nice that's nice Farooq, i have to ask you this you know i've always sort of tend to believe that films that do well with the masses with, with the audiences also tend to have a good musical score and, you know, your songs have done well. So, I mean, how did that come about? How much do you credit Mithun and, and how much do you credit yourself? I've heard you've also written a few lyrics. Yeah, see, everything is a collab- collaborative process, right? Today, when people are praising the film, it uh, it has to do with the both of us, like our jugal bandi, right? And so, when it comes to music also, it's like that. It's a jugal bandi. Of course... Mithun, Vishal, Mishra, full credit to them. I mean, they they are very uh, generous with me in terms of finding the melody of the film. Uh, the the four songs in the film took five months to make, mm-hmm. which has been a part of a lot of those recordings also this time. You know, Ruchit, because uh, <clears throat> I've been a part of this process and thanks to Farooq and Mithun and Vishal that they let me be in because I really want to learn. Mm-hmm. And like you said... The, the 
movie has to have some amazing good music and farooq and i every time we discuss music we enjoy sufi like when i have a conversation with him he likes that sufi touch to everything the way he thinks the way he writes so we had to do something different from khuda is one and the way he's sat with the writers the musicians the um, it was amazing to watch him and when i speak to the guys individually from mithun to vishal to asis everybody gives him credit like with you you know we make songs and we listen to directors but the kind of inputs he comes with this is what they also look for so it is collaborative and i have to give it to farooq a lot like brilliant he's a learner he's a learner and then it, it's amazing well done. yeah, yeah. The music is good brother you know for me it's always been the director could not get good music or the producer could not and with great pride i can say khuda is one two has been planned the music has been thought about so hence i have to thank him for this right yeah five months and you know an interesting anecdote we shot all the songs without there actually mm. being any song wow okay all the songs in chapter 1 and 2 are just moments we got together and created and had fun with and were very specific about you know this is how and there was no choreographer on these films also we've Hmm. we just come together enjoyed the yeah. songs enjoyed the music uh, designed and choreographed it ourselves just had fun no you know and ruchit the way he says it right it might sound difficult or easy but i just want to tell you because you've been you you watch people you watched a lot of actors grow in your career <clears throat> for us it's very important to find people who think like us to start with and when you meet boys and people your mentality or your ideology it becomes easy like you said we were having fun like i'm i'm somebody who has no idea about music like lyrics no way but when you sit with them you have a thought and you bounce it off and they say wow this is amazing so you realize you have something too so that's the process he's talking about we like we all become like friends and there's nobody who's more creative than the other and that point so that process is yeah, fun that's true yeah. like i wish that everybody finds people like that to like to hang around with to be friends with so it's amazing and all credit goes to you know from my perspective from like just an individual director's perspective uh, for me it's very nice because vidyut uh, a is very generous with me in terms of there is no ego in the creating process that's the biggest thing when there is no ego between two people in creation because that ego is the only distance between you and me right but when then there is no ego then the creation and the creativity is just flowing like with him like with mithun also with vishal also they are egoless in the process of creating mm. which is the that's why you enjoy the journey then it's not a tedious thing yeah. oh i have to tell with you this to make him understand this you know how things go on on sets yeah thankfully it's really simple here I want to tell him something. I'll tell him. Yeah, yeah. He wants to say something, and we are always giving benefit of the doubt to each other in the relationship. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, he's saying this. I'm going to listen to it, ponder on it, uh, think about it, stay with it. Mm. Uh, if I can't find the same page, then we'll go a different way. If we can, we'll go that way. So that is very important. आओ कभी हमारे साथ बैठो, तुम भी मजे करो. मैं तो हमेशा रेडी हूँ. You know it. आओ ना फिर धमकी मत दो ना यार सीरियसली लाइक पीपल लाइक अस डोंट कम फ्रॉम बॉम्बे लाइक फ्रॉम द फिल्म इंडस्ट्री इट्स इजी वंस यू फाइंड दीज फ्रेंड्स नो हु ऑल आर डिल्यूटेड इट्स अ ग्रेट प्लेस टू बी आई सीरियसली फील इट true true so this this creative synergy between the two of you can we expect now khuda hafiz 3 4 where 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 are you guys going why why are you only talking about khuda hafiz the mola salam walekum aayegi ki nahi alag alag aayenge yaar So what's what's the plan ahead, guys? Why don't you just throw some light on it? What are you guys collaborating on again? I'm busy. Okay. <laughs> For dates. I'm very busy. Is is he trying hard to get now, Paru? Huh? Is he trying hard to get now? I no comments. Busy. Agle five years. No comments. <laughs> It's amazing. So you know when like um, I used to hear people say like. some a director who was not really uh, a known director and there was an actor and the director would call the actor and say uh, so when can i make you hear the script ha kabhi bhi sir aapki dates abhi 2.5 saal tak dates nahi hai nahi aisa hota hai i'm not saying aisa hota nahi hai but 
it sounds very funny when like it's amazing i know i know i have also heard it maine to suna hai bhai mere paas 7 saal tak time nahi hai guzarne wala hai kya koi okay guys thank you so much for your time guys i hope the film continues to do well and here's looking forward to more rocking action films from both of you do well boy all the best thank all you right. so much thank you so much guys bye bye